Hello, my fellow patriots. So I'm going to do a little uh, spiel on what would have happened if um, this shooter in Norway had come into an area where everybody was well trained to use weapons. Um, like, for example, oh, I don't know, Switzerland. And almost everybody carried a weapon with them. Uh, I don't know if the people in Switzerland are carrying weapons anymore, but a um, good friend of mine said when he went to Switzerland, he was riding on a bus or something like that, and like half the people had rifles with them. Uh, it must have been, you know, but he, you know, he said on a normal day he'd see at least two or three people who had, were carrying, um, openly carrying rifles their military rifles, but they were dressed in civilian garb, so it didn't seem like, you know, they were shopping. Like, he saw one couple, and the man had a, a military rifle strapped over his shoulder, and they were in the grocery store, um, you know, buying veggies, vegetables, or something like that. So, um, but what would have happened had the kids and a couple, at least two or three people on this island, been uh, well-armed and well-trained? Do you think that, uh, you know, 90-plus people would have been killed? Because I think that that massacre never would have happened if his victims had been armed. He might have gotten two or three people, but I guarantee other than the bomb. You know, bombs are indiscriminate. Bombs kind of do what they do and kill who they kill. And that's unfortunate and uh, that's sad. And this man was a sick, you know, individual. However, let's point out the fact that had his victims not been completely unarmed, because laws in Norway prevent anybody from legitimately carrying a weapon for protection. They think, oh, we never needed it before. Well, come on. You know, the reason why we carry weapons is not because we want to shoot people. It's because we want to protect ourselves if the need arises. And we hope never to have to use a gun. You know, I carry a weapon hoping never to have to use it. However, I will be damn glad if in that one low percentage chance of the time that some wacko comes out and starts trying to kill as many people as he can, that I have a gun that I can counter his force with force. Because in many cases, that's the only way that you can stop these madmen. I think the only reason he stopped, um, and as far as I can tell, is he either thought everybody was dead or... Um, he was out of ammo or getting very low on ammo but even if he wasn't maybe it was because the police finally came over and stopped him either way we can't always rely on police relying on police ended up in maybe 80 more people dying than was necessary if there were people on that island kids and or adults on that island where that summer camp was who were armed as, you know, legally armed uh, civilians, this, uh, this tragedy would have been far less severe. You know, everybody makes these statements like, well, if everybody had guns, there would be massacres every day. Well, that's actually not true. That, that's, you know, we have shootings every day and all over the world. However, uh, in areas where everybody is well armed, I... I postulate that uh, there are far less mass killings and there are far less actual shootings. So, that's my uh, take on the Norway situation. Had people on that island where that guy had a, you know, totally captive uh, victims uh, had been armed, had any of them been armed at all, they probably could have taken him down.